I like books about hauntings, especially weird and unusual hauntings. So the book that we're going to talk about today has a very unusual kind of haunting. It is called The Haunting of Velkwood by Gwendolyn Kist. The reason it's unusual is because it's about this neighborhood on this street, Velkwood. The whole street just like disappeared and everyone that was on it disappeared except for these three girls that got out and their names are Grace, Talitha, and Brett. Talitha is the main character and she's around the age of 40 now in present day and I think they escaped when they were like in their 20s like very early 20s because they were in college when this all went down and happened when the street like disappeared and it's been studied by all these people over the years there's all these conspiracy theories about it like there's all these weird occult type theories and just a lot of rumors about like what happened and no one can enter the neighborhood except those three girls who escaped it a lot of people have tried over the years no one's been able to get in and for the most part these girls just kind of want to like forget all about it they don't want anything to do with it they don't want to go back they don't want to be bothered but at this point in Talitha's life she is not doing so good money-wise she's pretty broke and when she's approached by this guy named Jack who basically kind of is getting funds and grants to study this street and he reaches out to her because obviously he wants her to like go back and so they can kind of like study what happens and what the effect is on her and all of that stuff and she decides to do it because well she kind of needs the money and so what was it that made this whole street disappear so the street was like eight houses and i think there was like 13 people that disappeared talitha's mom and eight-year-old sister and then grace her mom and brothers and then the other girl's family as well and then there's other people that lived on the street and whatnot so she decides she's gonna go back and part of it too i mean she says she wants the money but she always thinks of her sister who she left sophie who was eight years old who she had promised that she wouldn't forget about her but she kind of did for the past several years because you know they all left and never tried to go back one of the group did actually try to go back grace she went back and then when she came out she wasn't the same she's like all messed up she seems like she's seen a ghost or several ghosts one might say so Talitha goes she decides to go in to get everything ready and there's only one way you can go in you have to go like down this central street and walk through and it's kind of like this weird shimmery barrier that you can kind of see but not really and so she goes in and she's like a ghost all the people are still there no one's really aged Everything looks the same. She goes in and it's like daylight. No one hears her, no one sees her. And she can't like, uh, if the door is not open to a house, she can't open it or touch it. She's not really able to touch anything either, which is really strange. And then there are some people though. There's this one old lady sitting on her porch. I think it's Mrs. Owens. And there's this frog in her yard. And she's like, you shouldn't be here. I told you, you shouldn't be here. You don't have much time left, but it seems like she's talking to the frog. But it also could be that she's saying that to Talitha. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. And so, you know, obviously she's going to go visit her house because the reason that she actually also would push her over the ledge to like go and do this and come back here to this place where, you know, there's ghosts that has haunted her from the back of her mind for quite some time was because the guy Jack who put all this together showed her a picture. They had like a drone that they sent in and it lasted for a little bit and they got a couple pictures. Most of them were crap, but they had a picture of her house and that kind of convinced her to go back. And then afterward, when she was looking at the picture, she saw her sister in the window. So, so obviously she's gonna go back to her house. She's gonna go to her friend's house and kind of see what's going on. And she's only supposed to be there for like an hour. So she has a timer, she's gonna go back when that goes off, you know, beep, 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 whatever. And so, like I said, she wasn't able to touch anything. She ends up going into the one friend's house. She's able to touch like one item and then she brings that back with her and then she leaves. And stuff gets really weird. It's so weird. Like, why did this happen? 
who are the people that are left behind? Oh, and maybe there is one person who could see her, but that's all I'm going to give you. That's all I'm going to give you. This book is great. I love the writing. I was into it right away. It's so weird. It's such a weird haunting. I liked the characters. I liked their relationships. I like just the human emotion of it. It is sad. It's sweet. It's weird. And I would highly recommend it if you like weird haunted ghost type books. Ghost type. I mean, they're ghosts. But then it's like, who's the ghost? Are we the ghosts to the ghosts? <laughs> is that weird? I don't know. Are we the ghosts to the ghosts? Am I a ghost to actual ghosts? Like they're seeing a weird echo of me. The perception of me is different. That's a whole nother conversation. It's me getting off into the paranormal. Well, I will save that for another day. <laughs> but The Haunting of Valhood by Gwendolyn Kist, I thought it was awesome. I haven't read any of her other books. This is my first one and I really liked it. I know she has another one uh, that was pretty popular, Reluctant Immortals. I have not read that one yet, but I would definitely like to read more of her writing because I really loved it. I thought it was great. So if you're a fan of books that are about weird hauntings, definitely check it out. And if you like books about weird hauntings, the next video coming up will be about a weird haunting. So stick around, check it out. And if you had fun hanging out today, hit that subscribe button, come back, see me again, and we'll talk about more bookish things and weird stuff.